Good afternoon, students. Uh, so today I'll just share with you uh, time series analysis using Excel. This we had already done in the class with some other example. So we will try to see this here with the example of air passengers, which we discussed in R. Okay. So first of all, uh, this is the year. And here we have the months. Okay. These are the number of passengers. Okay. So we will call this uh, YP. We will keep the same nomenclature that we had used in the class for all the different headings so that it is easy and you can uh, correlate. Okay. So let's make it bold. And uh, this is the time component. So we'll keep it as uh, E. So for how many years? It is 1949 to 1960. Okay. So a total of 144 roads are there. So, and the cycle is uh, 12 months, January to December. So we will first calculate a moving average MA. So we'll keep the same uh, moving average of four uh, months. Okay. So how do we calculate this? So we come here, put equal to average and average of the first four terms. Okay. This is the moving average for uh, these four terms. We simply double click this small square box at the end of the cell and we will remove the last component okay next uh, we have to do cma cumulated moving average c m a and this we do for uh, smoothening the data okay so here we calculate equal to again average of these two components and okay. again click on this, select this and double click so we get the smoothened moving average for these two components as well we'll remove this okay our next uh, task is to calculate the value of yt by cma okay now we in this uh, time series analysis we'll be using classical multiplicative model classical multiplicative and uh, what did i do it went up Classical multiplicative model. So this is equal to ST into IT into PT. Okay. So now we need to calculate and find the value of uh, yt by CMA. This is yt divided by CMA. Okay. Let's insert one more row so that we can put all the labels directly here. So this will give us st into it okay, and we'll be removing the trend uh, component from here so this is given by equal to yt is this divided by cma is f5 simple we get this and simply 
double click the small arrow we get for all the values all the rows we did in these last two rows okay so we have got st into it now we need to calculate st that is the seasonality uh, component okay yes so how do we calculate seasonality this is given by equal to average not this cell average january comma january of 1950 comma january of 1951 comma january of 1952 comma january of 1953 comma january of 1954 comma january of 1955 comma January of 1956, comma, January of 1957, comma, January of 1958, comma, January of 1959, comma, January of 1960, comma. Okay. Uh, so we'll remove the last comma. Okay. Uh, we need to put a few more things in calculating seasonality. So we'll just leave it here for the time. We will come back to it. Okay. So first of all, we have to calculate the average sales. Average, uh, not sales, average number of passengers. This is given by, this is, equal to again average average of all these yt values okay enter 